Now let's explore the rolling return distribution analysis for the rolling returns tab in the compare section. So what you can see here is the rolling return distribution analysis and you can see the intervals which are effectively preset based on the high and the low data sets divided into the system. Now what you can do here is you can change this interval. So let's say we are changing this interval from negative 20 to negative 10. So you can see the frequency being updated into the system between negative 20 to negative 10. You can efficiently do it for other intervals as well. So you can change the intervals from let's say 10 to 25 percent. So if there is an expectancy between 10 to 25 percent for any particular set of a client, you can effectively see what are the frequencies between these two return intervals, the frequency being given in the percentages. Similarly, what you can do is you can change the rolling window from here. So let's say if we change the rolling window from 260 to 780, it will effectively preset those rolling return distribution intervals based on the 780 days rolling return distribution. So here, what you can see, these are the data sets now being updated into the system. And these are the frequency of this rolling returns being displayed in the system.